Hey guys, it's JC's Reborn Journey here, and I am here to do a video on uh, how to do your Reborn and silicone baby um, bottles. There are so many different ways to do your bottles. Um, I thought I would show all the ones that I am aware of. Um, you can use any type. There's more than one of these to use. You can use baby powder, and I'm just using the one that I have right now. Then there's magic milk. Um, it is expensive, so. Then there is actual baby uh, formula. Then we have um, Coffee Mate, the um, uh, powdered kind, so it's uh, cream for your coffee. This powder, the powdered cream for your coffee, and I guess it's actually um, it's so powdery that it, you can actually make it um, stimulate the uh, the real, uh, you know, make it look like formula. And then you can use um, all-purpose flour. So you have to be aware when using some of these products that there are certain time limits that you have to use them and buy. So this you can actually sit there and let it um, okay out of all these products to make it easier out of all these products this one and this one right here are the only two products that can stay in your bottle for more than 24 hours. I know that these can stay in your bottle for weeks but I'm just saying the other ones once you're done making a bottle, because some people like to make the bottle, and keep it in, in, you know, make a bottle, feed the baby, and then empty it out. Um, sometimes it's the only form of means in order to make a baby bottle. Um, but if you have this in there for more than a day, you'll get mold in your bottle. And same thing with like that, that, and that as well. Because it's food. Um, but you can have, um, like, uh, formula you can have that in there for you know quite a few hours before it starts having a problem but you don't want your formula in your baby bottle all day long um, and you're probably not going to want anything that has to do with food especially in the summertime um, stuff like that so you know make a bottle use the bottle clean the bottle just like a real mom would do um, but if you're looking more to just have a bottle sitting around then um, I would recommend this and um, or the magic milk. So I was told that if you're looking more for a breast milk consistency, this would be more on the ends of that. You also have, believe it or not, you can also use, I just didn't have it up here, you can also use regular milk or any kind of actual milk product or cream like cream for your coffee so if you wanted to just go and get a cheap thing of half and half because uh, it's thicker um, I don't know if you really need like that really thick thick cream but just like a half and half because I think it's like a thicker cream um, you could use that as well but um, I'm gonna go and demonstrate how these all uh, look in the baby bottle so I'll start with the, the powder uh, or the this. Your, so you probably don't need that much. I don't usually use this, so this is not something I use. So I'm going to just put that much in and shake it real quick and just take a look and see what it looks like because this is not something I do. And that doesn't look like that's enough. So I will just put another spoonful until you're sure that that's what you want. So maybe that would be better. So this is what some people do. Some people actually use um, glue, which I don't recommend. That's just my personal opinion. So that is a better consistency but I still don't like it and I'm going to tell you why I don't like it 
is because it's got two different types of consistency. You got your clear consistency and then you got your foam consistency. So personally, these are just things that I've learned about. And personally, I don't like this. Um, there's other things that I use, um, but like when you're tipping it over though, it doesn't look as bad, but I still wouldn't use this. So my personal opinion for for the uh, for this is I wouldn't use it. I'm gonna go ahead and just put one more thing in there. Maybe I didn't put enough, but I don't think that this is gonna be good. Some people do use flour, so I'm gonna go ahead and shake that up one more time. But. As you can see, it is uh, very well. Uh, it's it's white. You can, if you want it a little darker, you can just put a little bit of uh, vanilla extract in there. And after the bubbles come up, that's a little better. But what's happening is all the bubbles, and then it ends up being half and half. So I don't like that consistency. So I personally wouldn't use this. So a lot of these things I'm experiencing for the first time myself, just so you know. Um, I have used all the things up to this. So I have never used this. So we're going to try this out. I've never used that. So I've never used that. And we're going to try this out. Actually, I probably don't even need a spoon. We're just going to pour some in there. Um, just so you know, I was able to buy this for a dollar at the dollar store, for those that are wondering. So we're just going to stick some of these in there. I don't know how much you need, so I'm just going to guess. Alright, I'm going to try that to start with. Because I don't know how much it's going to need. So that right there looks like breast milk because it's like a clear, it doesn't stick to the bottle. So I'm just going to add a little bit more. Okay. So this looks like I would use this more. Uh, that is settling, like right now that is actually settling in my bottle. Let's see what this does. So I would definitely not use flour in a bottle. Some people do. Flour would not be the thing that I would use. Alright, let's see what this does. It doesn't do half as bad as what that does, so I would definitely use the cream. It doesn't really stick to the bottle as bad. Um, it's got a really nice consistency to it. It kind of looks like cream. It also has little chunks that um, this also shows a little bit. So it would definitely, so I would definitely use this. Um, if you wanted it a little darker, this wouldn't really bother me personally. But if you're really looking for a darker consistency, you would just add a little bit of um, vanilla extract. So I would definitely use that. That's very cheap. Especially if you are like on the go and you wanted to just, you could put that in one of those containers. I would definitely use that. So that is definitely something I would use. So now we're going to show you and compare the difference between the two. So this one's a little on the different side. This one is the, actually this one's probably old. If you give me one second, I'll be right back and we'll get a new one.
That's good, because the babies didn't like it anyways. Good, we're only at 10 minutes. Alright, so now I'm going to get rid of that one anyways. Babies didn't really like it. I was making them suffer through it anyway. So now we're going to get the kind that the babies do like. So, let's get the good stuff. This is the kind that Jethro likes better. So, let's have him eat this stuff instead. He'll be a really happy boy tonight. So, I'm going to do one of those. Okay, so I put two in for a four ounce bottle, and now we're going to take a look and see what that looks like. So see how thick that is, and actually that's not really that off of a color, like when you look at it, it's really not that off, I mean it's just a little but not that bad, so I would definitely use that. It's really not that often, especially if you're in the home. Nobody, nobody um, really sees. Uh, the thickness is a little on the thicker side. Like, see how this just goes right down off the sides. Um, but now, what I want to do is I want to I want to put just a little bit more and see what that does because this could just be more of a um, like a breast milk type of scenario and it really depends on what you're looking for some people are looking for more of a breast milk scenario than a um, formula scenario So it still kind of does that same thing, but it definitely looks a little on the thicker side the more you put in there. So you tell me what you think. So, but again, like I said, I would definitely feed that to the babies and like I and for a dollar, that's real cheap. So that was a dollar and this was like mucho bucos. <laughs> So, like I said, um, the, compar the, the comparison, no, the difference between this and that, now, they were trying to tell you it says mix 50 drops in an 8 ounce glass, so this is really to distinguish how much you're looking for. So if you're looking more for it to look like breast milk, this is what you want. If you're looking for it to more look like... Uh, you know, then the, you know the less drops you put in, the the um, the more it's going to look like breast milk. The more drops you put in, the more it may look like um, that. So I'm just going to do that. So I have my privacy. So now we're going to put some drops in. One, two, three. We're going to just squirt a bunch in there. Let's see what happens. Okay. And so that is a pretty good consistency, and really, it's all depending on what you're looking for. It is very on the white side. I see you over there. <laughs> Stop making fun of me. So, <laughs> get Dennis uh, being the peanut gallery over there. So, um, yeah, this is um, more, you know, white than, you know, maybe even that. So, I can show you the difference of the color. You see the difference of the color. Now, this, too, is also more, a little bit on the lines of this. So, this shows more of the line. Just so you're aware of that. Um, but once it 
once the bubbles subside, you won't see that as bad. I've noticed in the other bottles that sit for a little while, you don't end up seeing that as much. But um, this one is uh, is definitely on the white side, so you definitely have to be aware of that. So that is for that, and we're just gonna get just gonna keep moving along. So right now I'm gonna put this in this just because I'm right here. So actually, what I'm gonna do is just pour it in my cup. You shouldn't really need any more than your cup. A lot of people just pour it in your bottle, but I'm going to try and not have to do that. So, what I did here, a lot of times people are putting your... Oh, that's the wrong cover. This is the right cover. Okay, so that goes with that one. Okay, so what I did here is water is two, two and a half ounces or two, a little over two ounces it was, and then I put a cup of this in. So we're gonna see what it looks like. And that looks good. So people can kind of get an idea. You know, it, it really, you know, a lot of times people are putting like so much of the form, uh, of this stuff in and they end up wasting a lot of it when they don't really have to. So, for me, I do more water, it's more of like half and half kind of deal, I think. Uh, but you tell me what you think. Um, I think it does the same thing. Um, with this stuff, you definitely have to, um, you know, you definitely have to clean out your bottles. In my opinion, this is my opinion. Um, I don't buy bottles that are already sealed that have stuff like this. I don't buy sealed bottles for that reason because they ruin the bottle. Uh, it ends up leaving a residue here and it doesn't look real as real anymore. Um, and then what happens is they also get thick and then you can't shake them as well. I mean, I've had more bottles I've had to throw away because of that. Even my own bottles I've made that I've sealed and it's just so I don't do that anymore this way you open them you just throw that stuff away old stuff away clean your bottles out and then you can make new stuff so this if I left this in this bottle which would be no problem I can do that for a couple of weeks and then within a couple of weeks I'll get rid of that and make a new bottle so I can do that but with this I can do that with this and this bottle but with the rest of the bottles by the end of the night and this one's going right away but by the end of the night the rest of them will have to go bye bye so this one right here just so you can see have a look this works really good too so you just use what you think you can but this will also turn into mold and that I think is all you would need shake it up and it smells really good so that looks more on the lines of um, breast milk right there it doesn't really as you notice it, it's got it, it doesn't really stick to it because I think there's something in that particular thing it still looks like they can drink out of that but it's not sticking to the bottle I think there's just something in that particular um, thing because it's the calming and whatever. But uh, you get my drift. So you can also use this if that's all you had. So for those that can't really spend too much money, but once you're done with this bottle, you've got to get rid of it before the end of the night or the end of the day. But yeah, so you got this. You got this. This works really good. I don't recommend the flower. And then you have the, the baby's real stuff, and then you have the this. And for those that are wondering, oh, where do I find this? eBay. Um, and you should know where you find the rest of that stuff. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I tried to make it as more interesting than usual. And um, I'm also going to be having how we make poopy diapers in a separate video. So 